You know, Kyle, a lot of people looking for activities this weekend. That may take some folks outdoors. It was nippy this morning, but you're telling us it's going to be a pretty decent weekend? Yeah, it, it really will be. Today, we'll have, the sunshine's going to return for most of you. It's still going to be a cool afternoon, but yeah. hey, it's still February. It's I mean, that's February. what we expect. Uh, but it's also still February, and we can also get these wild swings in temperatures. And yeah. I got like mid 70s this upcoming week. That's not a bad thing. No, but enjoy it while it lasts because another cool down on the way. Uh -oh. Up and down temps recently, also uh, up and down rain chances. You know, we've had some widespread rain over this past week. We're dry this weekend. Going to have another couple rounds of, or at least one round of widespread rain this next week and maybe another round too. We'll see what ha ends up happening with the second one. So drought conditions non-existent from DFW to the east, but drought does remain across western North Texas. It's mostly moderate drought, which is the lowest end of the scale, but you do see some severe to extreme drought there from Stephenville down to Meridian uh, to Hamilton at the moment. And also a little bit of a severe drought out by Breckenridge. So that recent round of rain really helped out the local lakes across the eastern portion of North Texas because that's where most of the rain fell, or at least the highest totals were anywhere from around one to three to four to five inches of rain. So Grapevine Lake two feet high at the moment. Joe Pools two feet high. LaVon's a foot and a half high. Ray Hubbard's right where it should be. Louisville a little low. Ray Roberts a little low. Eagle Mountain continues to be uh, four feet low and Bridgeport is nine feet low. Off to the northeast, Texoma's a foot low. Bodart continues to fill, still closed, but uh, continues to fill. Now only 10 feet low there. That's good to see. Tawakini's two feet high. Forks two and a half feet low. Cedar Creek now only a foot low. I think Cedar Creek came up almost two feet with this uh, most recent round of rain. Richland Chambers, three feet low there. Off to the west, Granberry's a foot and a half low. Lake Whitney's six and a half feet low. Basically west of 35, lake levels uh, really didn't change from last week to this week because rainfall totals were only about a quarter to maybe a half an inch in those locations. Uh, so it didn't really help out filling up the local lakes. I mean, it's better than nothing. Going to need a lot more rain to fall across the western portion of North Texas to really fill up those local lakes. In the meantime, Weatherford sitting at 34 degrees. The sun is out and it feels like 27. Clouds are still hanging around downtown Dallas where it's 37, feeling like 31. Those clouds will clear out from west to east today. Far eastern, southeastern North Texas, you'll likely get stuck in the clouds for the majority of the day today. But if you're seeing sun or excuse me, cloud cover from kind of the McKinney to Dallas to Walks Hatchy area, I think by the later on this afternoon, you'll see nothing but sunshine. If you're across the western portion of North Texas, you'll see nothing but sun today. But even with the sun, your highs will still be below normal, upper 40s to low 50s. Tonight will be down in the 30s once again. Some freezing temps here or there, maybe a little patchy fog across eastern North Texas. And then tomorrow, even though we'll have some mid to high level clouds streaming overhead, it'll be back close to normal with highs 60 or above for most areas uh, as we head through the end of the weekend and your Sunday and nothing going on tomorrow evening. If you have any Super Bowl plans, Monday is dry, but fairly cloudy. That's ahead of our next storm system that will be rain by Tuesday morning, late Monday night into Tuesday morning. A round of showers will be out there, but by Tuesday afternoon and evening, there's noon. Most areas are already dry and then for sure dry by the evening hours. So if you have any Valentine's Day evening plans, those will be totally fine. We're dry Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Most of Wednesday is quiet. But Wednesday evening into Wednesday night, next front moves through. That front will bring us around to showers and storms during the evening and into nighttime hours, and maybe a threat for some strong to severe storms as well. Right now, it's a two on a scale of five from DFW to the east. We'll keep an eye on that. That storm system that's responsible for that severe weather still up by like Alaska right now. So we got a lot of details to iron out as we get closer. And we'll obviously do that for you as over the next several days here. That round of rain Monday night into Tuesday, nothing severe with that. It's just some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Then up to 75 on Wednesday before that front moves through, but then it's down in the low 50s again Thursday and Friday. Maybe a couple opportunities for some freezes on that uh, 10 day close tomorrow morning, but probably not there. Maybe another round of freezing temperatures next Friday and potentially next Saturday morning. All right.